we're in the car wash. It is a beautiful day. It's going to be in the 60s. My car is disgusting. We got coffee. We're going to wash it. We're going to clean it out. We're going to vacuum. And then I'm going to go home and get some soap and water and scrub the inside of this car today. I am very allergy also from all the storms coming through. I was very safe, there was no tornado near me, but I decided I need to get ready because I think it's going to be a rough storm season here in Ohio. So I think what I'm going to do is get my basement all clean, freshen up the bed down there, and bring some cat stuff down in case I need to go to the basement for a storm. Be prepared, have some treats down there for the boys because I need to entice them to stay with me. Um, I don't think I need anything else down there. I need bottled water, but I doubt it. I mean, typically it's gonna go, it's gonna go fast, but I would like to know that my basement is tidy and ready if I need to sleep down there. I do have a full spare bedroom in my basement. My bedroom's on the second floor. All right, let's go back you. All right, I'm back from running all my errands. I went to Oh, I went to Old Navy. Today only, which is Saturday, they had tank tops in different colors for $3. And um, I need tank tops to wear under like clothes. So I got two, but I got the cutest. What well, I'm going to wear it for a pool cover up. I'll insert a video somewhere here of me in the dressing room as a quick little video trying it on. I love it. It is they call it crepe material but it's more like a cotton it's kind of thick but it'll dry good and it doesn't wrinkle so i got that oh and i also got this for my plants that says i'm rooting for you and it's just a little thing i got that at target hi gabby okay but right now we are going to make uh my bougie version of a mo uh caramel mocha frozen latte so I showed you that I got this from the Dollar Tree, right? It's just a silicone tray, but I made frozen bunny butt cap or, um, espresso. So I took my Cafe Bustello and I do one tablespoon to one half cup of water. Now, if you're not a coffee drinker, that might be a little excessive for you. So you could do like a tablespoon per cup of water. So I made enough. For this, this makes 10 and a half a cup is the equivalent of five or so cubes. What the cool thing about this, wait, what do I got? One, two, three, four, five, is instead of using ice, which waters down my, get in there, waters down my drink, I'm using frozen espresso. Same concept, better results. Let me throw this in the freezer real quick. Cause I don't want it melting. Okay, now I also got this Carb Master Milk because my Walmart or my uh, Kroger was out. Oh, sorry, my bra is biting me. My Kroger is out of Fairlife. So I have chocolate, sugar free. This is Torani, T O R A N I. And I put like a pump and a half of chocolate and a pump and it's a pump and a half of this you'll have to figure out your own measurements like if you have this the gold pumps like this that's way more than a pump and like that's a lot this doesn't pump a lot so i have figured out that like a pump and a half works for me anything more than that is too sweet and then i put two trivia so part of the thing with sugar-free syrup for me is I don't like a lot because if I get a lot, then um, it has a weird aftertaste. So I prefer it's a little less. I forgot my cup. Hold on. I'm talking while I'm getting my glass. Well, here, we'll use, we'll use this one in a straw. It doesn't matter what cup you use. All right. Then I put about a cup of milk in it. That was about. Turn this on, and, and I have a Hamilton, Hamilton Beach little blender. I can't stretch it over because it's plugged, but then I zip it. 
and you want to pulse it to get those cubes to the bottom. And so it's all crunched up. Perfect. When you stop here in the chunky, it's done. Um, technically, I could drink out of this, but I'm not going to do that. So I will take the lid off. It's whipped up all my milk and all of the ice, all of the coffee frozen is chunked up. And then stir. Mmm. So good. If I wanted more ice, less milk, I would probably dilute my espresso powder to water just so I can get more frozen in the summer. So good. Tastes like chocolate, tastes like caramel, tastes like espresso. Mm. And this Carb Master, this is reduced fat. It says it has three grams of carbohydrate per cup. Tastes like milk to me. All right, what's next? I don't know, I have a headache today. Tomorrow, I'll try to remember to bring you with me. I'm going to see Mamma Mia. It's our Broadway series that Sarah and I have tickets to. I'll take some video inside the theater because it's gorgeous in there. But maybe I'll give it to something tonight, but I'm trying to get rid of this headache and I might just relax for the rest of the day. But if I get into anything, I shall bring you along. All right, let's get to it. Say hi, Sarah. Hey. <laughs> Mama Mia. Here I go again. It's Sunday evening. I'm peeling hard boiled eggs for lunch this week. I think I'm going to make egg salad. It feels springy. I just got back from the Ohio Theater. I will put some coverage in here. I just took a quick video. It is a historic building in downtown Columbus. And they have shows, mostly like uh, Broadway type shows. Although sometimes I will have a concert depending. Um, the orchestra plays downtown at these theaters. There's two. The Ohio and the state maybe? I don't remember what the other one is called. But oh, I need paper towels. They are both um, historic buildings like I said. They have been um, refurbished, if you will. It's so funny because a lot of my friends in town also have tickets to these shows. So, um, Sarah and I, just a little hit reasoning, we bought season tickets to the Broadway Across America series that comes to Columbus. Um, and actually, fun fact, different shows go to Cleveland. They have different touring lineups across the country. But... So tonight was an add-on show that we purchased. It did not come with our regular season ticket, but we are both okay with that. Also, we're going to be seeing Tina Turner soon. I don't know when that is on, but the other add-on that we bought this season was The Lion King because we've never seen that. So it's exciting. Um, typically in the summer, middle of the summer, they'll post what next year's tickets are going to be for the tour and then we decide typically we will we'll get them we like theater and we do the Sunday matinee which is nice because I don't have to pay to park downtown there's not a lot of traffic during the week in the evening you're kind of fighting the traffic of people these are not feeling well for me today you're fighting the the people who are getting out of work and stuff like that so yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, I mean, that's my music. So I cannot wait for the symphony. So this is Broadway Across America that we have tickets to now. 
in the summertime, the symphony does a series on the Boston, or the Boston, no, I'm not in Boston anymore, on the Columbus Commons downtown. It's just an open green space. They tore down an old building and made it a green space, which is fantastic. And the symphony hosts different artists or cover bands, and the symphony plays along with them, and it's really fun. Um, and it's a little pricey. Sometimes, like, we went and saw an ABBA cover band last year, and it was $60. Now, we did rent a table. Um, so your options, look at this poor egg. It's a good thing I'm making egg salad. So your options are you can get lawn seats, and you're allowed to bring your own food, alcohol, um, lawn chairs, blankets. You just kind of set yourself up on the lawn and you listen to the symphony and it's fantastic. I love going to the 4th of July show. They have the best fireworks and so that's fun. So my neighbor, Lori, Lori and Lori and I usually, well, we went last year down to see that and we've gone to see shows. And then my other friend enjoys the tables. So she'll rent or she'll reserve three tables. And a bunch of us each just give her the money and we get to sit at a table and we all same thing you can bring your own food your alcohol it's a lot of fun so I'm waiting for them to release what the series is gonna be I saw a couple of years ago Melissa Etheridge played the only downside if there is even a downside is when you see somebody like a Melissa Etheridge or you know, not just a symphony and a cover. They don't, they're not on there for a whole con concert. It's usually just a few songs, so. But it's still fun. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's nice weekend night outdoors, sitting down, listening to music. It's right up my alley. So, sorry for the banging. For the rest of tonight, I'm gonna, it's four, five o'clock. I had to return something to Lane Bryant. And then of course I bought something at Lane Bryant because that's how I roll. This is the weirdest shaped egg. This poor chicken must have been bound up. It's very pointy. Um, so tonight, the rest of the night, I'm gonna go put my pajamas on. I'm going to make my lunch for the week. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna plan next weekend, I hope, if I can carve out some time, I have to look at my part-time job schedule for next week, but I want to watch Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. It's currently on Disney, and I have Disney, Disney Plus. You can stream it. I don't know how long it's going to be on there, but I want to watch it. Obviously, I didn't get to go see it. Well, I guess it's not obvious, but I did not get to go see it. We were really hoping she would come to Columbus, and there were rumors like all things, that she is coming to Columbus, which she did not. Last summer, I don't know if she's just, I mean, I have not heard that she's coming, but if um, she does, I would end up working it. So I wanna see, it's three and a half hours long. But that's okay. I can just put it on and turn, put on my cross stitch, start some cross stitching or knitting or something and just enjoy it. We have two more eggs. I made, I think I made a dozen. Maybe I made 10. Questionable. But I figured this will be a good, I have two left, a good couple days of lunch for me. I just eat it, not on a sandwich, but I have some lettuce leaves. So I figure I will make it. And I make mine like I would make deviled eggs with pickle juice, mustard, mayonnaise, um, salt and pepper. I like it like a, a deviled egg would taste. It's my favorite. So I will do that, put it in the fridge, and then I gotta pack my lunch. And one more egg. And then I would like to relax tonight. My headache is gone, which is lovely because that was horrible. Um, you'll probably have already seen my Dollar Tree haul when I said I was suffering with headaches this week but it seems to have passed, which is fantastic. 
And in case you're wondering, I am not putting shells down my garbage disposal. I don't roll like that. I am actually, they're in a pan. I boiled them before I left and then put them in the fridge. Okay, so I have everything. I'm gonna go get changed and I am going to edit this video. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this little vlog and a little look into my life. Maybe I'll get some more vlogs up now that life seems to have calmed down a little bit and I will talk with you later. Bye.